normal people. You know, we're not fascists, we're not violent, we're not trying to... Yeah. We don't go into meetings and shut people down like they try and do. That's not how our freedom of speech really works or democracy sure. should work, really, is it? So. A protester has come in to observe the lodge. I remember the public that they see what's going on. Is that okay? No, it's a private meeting now. Fuck off. Excuse me. Yeah? Don't, don't get aggressive with me. I'm not getting aggressive with you. I'm just telling you how it is. You're not welcome. I'll sit down and shut up there. Don't, don't, don't speak to me. Though. I'll see to you how I want. If you don't like it, stop me. No. Uh, yeah. I know what I'm going to pick up on that. Oh, my God. I know. Stay calm all the time. If the camera's not there, fucking punch skis are afraid of Every single rational person across the European continent can recognize that we are in severe trouble. From the migrant invasion, from the insidious influence of the Islamic expansionist ideology, it's actually put us in peril. If we can educate people, force our government to take action against political Islam, against radicalism and extremism, future generations will thank us for it. It was Erdogan who said, when he talked about minarets and mosques, he called them like the helmets, the bayonets of the Muslim advance into Europe. It's a representation of power. And, you know, like, personally, just even from a cultural viewpoint, I don't want to hear a call to prayer ringing out of a core five times a day. I know what? I didn't even feel I need to explain that. I just don't want it. People in Ireland should be looking to the UK. They should be looking to Europe. And they should be trying to learn from our mistakes. Because we've made a hell of a lot of mistakes. We've left our countries in many communities in ruin. We have polarised communities, segregated communities. We have Islamic ghettos. We've had 360 Muslims arrested on terrorism last year. We're too fearful of standing up for who we are, our identity, too weak to say that our culture is superior. A large crowd has gathered at the GPO to protest against the Pegida rally. Adam Saba has been asked to address the counter protest. Hopefully people will realize when as soon as, you, as soon as they arrive, First of all, their numbers are small. Second of all, their rhetoric is stupid. I mean, this kind of rubbish is, is making me nervous. They're trying to get us to react. They're just hoping somebody does something stupid so they can say, look, see, I told you these guys are terrible. They're angry and hostile. You're all very welcome! No to fascism! No to Pegida! No to Islamophobia! So I feel overwhelmed with the amount of support and the people who came. Pegida is trying to import a racist and fascist model to Ireland. They are exploiting the fear. I think they are trying to use the fear of the people for their political gain. It's like Donald Trump. Uh, they're using the fear of the people. And people are genuinely afraid, and, and that we can understand. Maybe Pegida could speak to us. They can actually interact with Muslims. They have been hearing about Islam, about Muslims from the media. But I really doubt that they have ever interacted with a Muslim. The Muslims ever turn around and wonder why people protest them? We're afraid for ourselves, we're afraid for ourselves. Well, maybe you should be. If, you're, if your religion has gone around and slaughtered 130 people in Paris, or raped or assaulted a lot of women in Germany on New Year's Eve, maybe you should be looking into things and wondering why people are not going to accept it. Okay? My name is Adam Sava, and I'm Irish, and I'm proud to be Irish. In front of all of you people, I want to say Ireland is absolutely not racist. There are in every society a minority of ignorant people. So, that's it. Next one. Oh, okay. Central City Council. Jesus Christ. Get out. Get out. Get out. Hey, whoa! Whoa! Stop it. Get out of there. Get out. Get out.